I'm going to try to teach guitar. Just know, I am not good socially. I look like a robotic beaver. All right. Anywho, um, so what I've, what I have learned is that Randy Rhodes would have the, the guitar at an angle, so, so then I guess you can do these spider finger things, so, if you want to do that where the, the fingers go up and down the neck fast. From what I heard, you're supposed to have it at a diagonal angle instead of uh, more left to right, I guess. And, and you'll know because you'll be able to do this thing where you go up and down the neck like a spider. So depending on how you're holding the guitar, you, you may or may not be able to do that. So it, it may or may not matter. I don't know. All right, um, so let's see here. I wonder if I can hold it this way, I don't know. Okay, so for this song, it's gonna be 12 on the G, zero on the B, zero on the high E, and I, I guess I could put it in the description. So you just play um, G, B, high E while putting your first finger on 12 on, on the G and that's it. And the notes I think are G, B, high E. Oh, but also you're gonna to want to play near the um, the top part of the circle, but a little bit down. You're you're somewhere in the middle of the circle, and I think you'll hear a different sustain sound. So let's see. Huh? What are the, I, I'm not sure what the beats are. So that's it for that song that I know of, and it was, uh, it was a random YouTube video. I think it was called The Last of Us. Now I think what you're playing there, I think is um, GB high E, and it's, it's just yeah, 12 on, on the G, 0 on the B, 0 on the high E, so it's 12 0, zero. And you just repeat that over and over. Uh, oh wait, actually, I forgot. You're supposed to, I think, sorry, you're supposed to do this, I think with um, the thumb fingernail because it's, it's finger style, I think. Hmm. I don't know if it matters actually. Do it with the guitar pick, I think. Hmm. But I think if you use your your thumb fingernail, I think that would change the sound. Hmm. Huh. It sound better with the pick? I don't, I don't really know, actually. Well, you could try it that way. You could even try it um, with the flesh of your uh, your thumb, which might be tricky.
I don't know. I don't know if that sounds good. Maybe, maybe you can just use the pick. I don't know if it matters. But that would also change the sound. If you, if you uh, hit the strings with the flesh of your fingers and not your fingernail. All right, so, um, also, um, right, so you're, you're playing G, B, high E. So I think that's in the, in the key of C. Because in the key of C, um, when I used to play piano, they would teach you something like C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C. But there's also A and P. So yeah, basically it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, without sharps or flats, that's the key of C. So I'm not sure if that song's in the key of C, but it's got no sharps or flats because it's it's G, B, high E. So that might be in C major scale, I'm not sure. Which um, might be a positive key. The notes might sound positive. I'm not sure. All right, that's the uh, that's the guitar lesson. Um, let me know if there's any uh, song you want to learn. I may or may not be able to play it. A lot of these songs uh, don't seem easy to play. Uh, so I'm gonna need a lot of. Uh, songs that you might want to play and I may or may not be able to play those songs and I'm still trying to learn these songs so if anyone wants to teach me that would be good because uh, I don't really know how to play most songs all right that's the uh, end of the guitar lesson and hopefully you have a good day All right, bye.